Let's bring in CNBC.com markets and investing reporter Yun Lee to talk more about that. Yun, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. So we have some news on some fresh activity uh, yes. in, the, in the first quarter. Put it in perspective for us. For sure. Yes, Buffett has been really active. So he bought more than $50, uh, $50 billion worth of shares in the first quarter. And this is very significant because he had been a net seller of stocks for five straight quarters, all, all throughout 2021. Now he's back in the market, picking up bargains, and Chevron was one of his biggest uh, bets in the first quarter. And I think it, it makes a lot of sense. You know, energy has been a standout winner this year, and, you know, oil stocks are a good inflation hedge. And then it also pays a really good dividend. So we talked about the Chevron stake, uh, pr whether intended or not, it really does uh, orient the portfolio a lot more toward energy, right? Yes. With the Occidental stake yes. increase. It, it's very consistent with the Occidental bet, which he also added to recently. And earlier in the arena, I thought it was interesting that Buffett explained to shareholders how he was able to pick up 14% of Oxy in just two weeks. He actually said it was because of this speculative trading activity and this gambling mentality. Um, so Oxy sold off a little bit earlier this year. There was a, there were a lot of outstanding shares in the open market, and he was able to swoop in and pick up a lot of stock. And, you know, as the savvy and nimble value investor that he is, he is taking advantage of this trading mania on Wall Street for bargains for the long term. Yeah. And, it, you know, clearly it's not specifically a bet on oil prices. Right. He wants to own the these businesses, he thinks they're well-valued right now. And of course, uh, I guess maybe one thing he didn't do, although we don't know everything that was bought right, right in the quarter, and he did allude in response to a question to so three German securities he bought or $5 billion right. worth of purchases overseas. Right, they haven't been disclosed yet. We'll wait and see. And I'm also interested if they will be asked about China. You yeah. know, um, under Munger's influence, Buffett invested in a Chinese uh, EV company, BYD, a decade ago. And that turned out to be a very lucrative bet. But, you know, given uh, today's political climate and the COVID situation in China, I wonder if their outlook has changed in any way. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely worth hearing. And I guess one thing we haven't heard is just any new energy in the direction of financial holdings, right? right? They right. just kind of let them sit where they have been. Yeah, and Bank of America is probably, it's one of the only big bank holdings they have. Um, yeah, and then they're kind of barbell between tech and energy at this point. Yes, yes. of course, with the Hewlett Packard purchase as yes. well tech consumer products. Like. Yeah, it's very consumer. It's a tech company, but it's an old school consumer heavy tech company. And one analyst pointed out that it could be a bet on the hybrid work environment that we're having uh, in this pandemic because, you know, HP, they sell printers yeah. and headset PCs, very essential to working from home. So it could be a bet on, you know, the hybrid work model, which I thought was very interesting. And, and I guess a bet that printing's not going to go away anytime soon. Yeah. So <laughs> despite predictions. Uh, Yun, thank you very much. Thank you. Talk to you later again.